Cost Comparison, Gas Vehicles versus Electric Vehicles. Hi, I'm Jeremy with Swepco's Energy Efficiency Team. In this video, I'll break down some of the costs you can expect when owning an electric vehicle and the added cost benefit you'll get by making the switch. So you're looking at buying a new car or truck. What do you look for? Reasons like style, reliability, and safety are high on people's priority list. And those are all great reasons. But many people's deciding factor when picking out their new vehicle comes down to the bottom line. What's the price and cost of owning the vehicle? When looking at this, many people only look at and compare sticker price. However, sometimes the price tag on the vehicle isn't telling the whole story. Let's take, for instance, one of the top selling, most efficient gasoline cars on the market today and compare it with one of the top selling electric cars on the market. Now, for this comparison, we're going to exclude the $7,500 tax credit you get when buying most new electric vehicles. This is a huge financial incentive for potential EV buyers and one that you should definitely take advantage of. But for now, we'll just look at the day-to-day -day value. For this comparison, a brand new 2021 Honda Accord will cost anywhere from $25,000 to about $37,000, depending on the model and upgrades you choose. A brand new 2021 all-electric LEAF starts at around $31,000, but can go as high as $43,000, depending on the model and upgrades you get for that vehicle. Well, in terms of cost, that seems like a no-brainer. At both their highest and lowest points, the LEAF is around $6,000 more than its gasoline counterpart. End of discussion, right? Though it's true that the LEAF and most electric vehicles are more expensive on the front end, the real savings comes when you drive it off the lot. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the average price for a gallon of gas in July 2021 is hovering around $3.14. With that price, filling up the Accord's 14.8-gallon gas tank will cost roughly $46.47 per fill-up. Of course, if gas prices go up or down, so will this expense. What about the LEAF? According to the EPA, to fill up a completely uncharged Nissan LEAF S, cost around $5.90. The bigger 62 kilowatt hour battery in the Nissan LEAF SL Plus will cost around $9 to fill up. If you fill up both vehicles three times a month, you're looking at a monthly gas expense of nearly $140 for the Accord, and the bigger battery LEAF will only cost you $27 a month. That's $1,356 of savings per year when filling up the LEAF compared to its gas competitor. And if you have to fill up more than three times a month, the savings in favor of the LEAF will be even greater. In fact, the EPA reports that the Nissan LEAF will save you an average of $5,750 over all new 2021 gasoline vehicles during a five-year span. That makes up for the sticker price alone. This does not include savings EVs give you from not having oil changes or other routine maintenance that internal combustion engine vehicles require. According to Car and Driver, the average gas vehicle today can be expected to last 200,000 miles with a lifetime maintenance cost of around $20,200. The average EV lifetime maintenance cost is just $12,000 for a savings of $8,000. For truck enthusiasts, a new 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning, Ford's first electric truck, is said to start in the high $30,000 range, similar to its gas F-150 counterpart. And with the traditional F-150's larger gas tank, the electric truck owner will see higher potential savings when it comes to filling up. In short, both the Honda Accord and the Nissan LEAF are good cars, and both have advantages and disadvantages. The Accord has a different exterior style and is a little bigger, which may be more desirable for some buyers. The purpose of this video is not to downplay the benefits of cars like the Honda Accord or other gasoline vehicles but to highlight the financial benefits of driving electric. As more and more car manufacturers begin to make and release new versions of electric vehicles, the cost for EVs will continue to go down. Even Tesla, with their higher-end EVs, has announced that their Model 2 car, set to be released in 2022, will start at only $25,000. With the uncertainty of oil and gas prices, EV drivers can rest assured that their charging rates will remain more stable. But what will EV drivers do when there's a power outage or extreme weather event? The same thing gas drivers do. Wait it out. Gas pumps are run on electricity and won't work if there's a power outage the same way an electric car can't get a charge. There are still obstacles to overcome with electric vehicles, but there are a lot of benefits to them as well. 
They're fun to drive, they limit emissions, and they offer various cost benefits that can save you money. For more information on the benefits of driving electric, please visit swepco.com drive.